guys ever saw something in the Word and you know it's the will of God, but you feel far away from it? You follow me? John's back there. No, he just had one hand up. Who, who, who knows what I'm saying now? You read something, it's like a commandment, it's, a, it's, something, it's something that's supposed to be in you, in the Lord, and you're like... I wonder where the, I missed that. I, I didn't get in that line. I, I don't know if they were out when I got there, but I don't see any tender mercies in me lately. I feel a little ticked, actually. You know, you know, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, though? Did you ever, you know, some people, some people read their Bible and they're, they get so aware of where they're not instead of where God's calling them. That it's hard to read their Bible because they feel like it's in their face. Do you know what I mean? Because they read their Bible and go, oh, I am so not this. And they get discouraged. They get a little bummed. That's where prayer and this communion that we've been covering and touching the whole time since the school started, I've been using examples of prayer. I noticed some from the beginning I've been using. Do you, at least I think I am. I don't, it's a kind of a blur. But have I used to you guys, in your opinion, a lot of examples like where I'll stop and pray and show what that looks like and actually pray that have I been doing that a lot because I've been trying to be more conscious to do that because I feel like the Lord even when I travel and teach he wants me to give more examples that way rather than just teach a principle demonstrate it show it let the people see and hear what that sounds like I remember doing that especially the first week I remember using a lot of examples of prayer but uh, when when you bump into that in the word and, and you think boy I haven't walked in that or that's sure not formed in my life the last thing you can do is bite your lip and just be that. You'll bump flat into your inability and inconsistency if you do that. You'll just be, and then you'll beat yourself up and you'll think, boy, I'm, uh, there must be something wrong with me. Whatever. You never forget this. I've said this probably 50 times since the school started. You're saved by grace through faith. Okay? So when you bump into something like that, the best thing you can do is, 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 is address it by faith to the Lord and share your willingness, your want to. Uh, Lord, I thank you that I'm called to this. And it is so my heart to be in this place right here. No matter what it is. Uh, Father, I feel like I am so lacking in the area of patience. I feel like things trouble me, bother me. I get short with people. I get frustrated quick. I'm like, get on with it. And Father, I realize love and patience go hand in hand. And I thank you. You're cultivating my heart. It is my desire to be just what you created me to be. And I thank you, Father. It's not my call to be short with people, etc., etc. I realize that is not who you are. And I thank you. And you just go on and you release faith. And when you're alone with God, you, you... Some of us, I think it's too simple. It has to be more than that. And it's not. It's, 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 it's you saying, yes, I get so excited when I see want to in people. When I, when I get along with people and I see, and they think they have a problem, and they're all broke up and weeping, I'm excited that they care so much because I know that's the change in their life right there. That's going to what God's going to use to transform them. You see what I mean? So I get really excited about the fact that you care. He does too. He's serious. Not that you're messing up so bad, but that you care. Who knows there's people messing up on purpose. There's people messing up willfully. There's people messing up and could care less. There's people that have been taught that this is messing up. And because they've been taught and they have a grudge in their heart, they're messing up on purpose in spite of because they're so mad at what they were taught their whole life. You know, that stuff like that. Remember I told you when I was 19, I slammed my Bible against the wall. I was so mad that I knew the Bible because it never let me do what I want to do. <laughs> Just, you know what I'm saying? So there's a whole lot of people, but when somebody cares... That's the part that you need to highlight and that's the part you need to see in your own life so you're not harsh with yourself. You hold yourself accountable. I hold myself, I'm I'm my own steward of my own heart. I I hold myself accountable. Outside of the Word of God and Spirit of God, there's nobody that disciplines me more than me. Serious. I keep myself straight in that. I, I, I call myself into account. But I do it in the light of grace. And I do it because I know He loves me.